We've all been there. You're playing Cyberpunk 2077. Fully maxed ray tracing, path tracing, all the tracings on your RTX 4090. It's running very smooth, 120 FPS. All the women think you're all there. And then it happens. Your system has a meltdown and you blue screen. On top of everything else, you haven't saved in three days. At least most of this was the case for me a few months ago, even before Cyberpunk 2077's massive version 2 overhaul update. So why am I telling you all of this? Well, you see, Philippe I'm just going to accept I got it wrong and say sorry in advance. Persinski, lead scene programmer at CD Projekt Red, warns that the upcoming 21st of September version 2 update, finally, GTA Police Chasers. Get the f*** out the vehicle, sir. Put down your pants now. 5,900x. It's 12 core, by the way. And it was hitting at over 90c, which I think is the maximum, at least for my model. So going back to Philippe's tweet, or X, he also mentions that the update will be fully utilizing all of those cores or threads on the CPU, finally. So good cooling and good system condition is a good play. He also recommends that we give our PC some quick CPU workload reps with a free tool like Synbench. So let's test out our newly upgraded cooling system in Synbench as he suggests. Then I'll share with you what CPU melting issues I had and what changes I made to fix those problems. A solution that I have never used in my 20 plus years of building PCs. All right, so my system's currently running obviously and it's at 69 Celsius. We're gonna go and get this Synbench gonna get it from Windows Store here. Simbench Max on. Looks like it's free. Let's grab it. Get that installed. All right, it's installed. Now, obviously, because I'm doing capturing on the same PC and what have you, rather than using my separate machine, there will be some more strain. I've got like Premiere running in the background, which is video editing and a whole bunch of other things hidden and running in the background. So, you know, take that into account. But we've got a 4090 here. We've got a decent processor. So I think we should be okay. We should be safe. So let's accept that. I've never used this thing, so I don't even know how to use it. Multi-core, single-core, I guess we just go start and cross our fingers, because obviously crossing your fingers makes a difference. Okay. I'm just going to leave it and go and do some things in the toilet and come back and edit out the noise. I'll be back. A few moments later. Oh, still going. Okay, cool. Might as well bring up the uh, temperatures here as well. A little bar. Uh, I'm sure it's in the app already, but yeah. I don't think we have to go. I guess it's almost done. I'm not going to say too much because I'm probably going to remove or speed up the majority of this anyways. So finished oh, okay we're going for a whole bunch of other scenes all right just notice it looks like there's a uh, timer at the top so we've got five minutes of this left so i'll be speeding that up but um yeah i guess i'll mute and we are finally finished by the looks of things um I thought there'd be a little bit more details in this, but I guess the main point is, there's our score, we've got 16,264 uh, off in some kind of list, I don't know if this is like the, compared to the best systems or what, but, um, belch. But yeah, it's good, no blue screen, which is the main thing. The only thing to mention is that I am not on Windows 10, I'm on Windows 11. I have 64 gigabytes of RAM on this system, and obviously an RTX 49 is a workstation more than it is a gaming machine, so, um, my stuff's a little bit over. But, uh, yeah, that's a Simbench test. As far as our CPU and our cooling systems concerned, Simbench working we was a uh, solid at 75 about 15 celsius gap between and then probably when the game is running fully i uh, pretty much is a similar deal so now to the next part how i got to this point now as i teased previously i'll explain to you how i fixed this blue screening problem so you can prevent it happening to you when you jump into cyberpunk 2's major update or any other intensive pc gaming or pc operation thing this is a problem I was experiencing all of a sudden a few months ago with games like Cyberpunk or Diablo or even Returnal when especially when they were maxed just random blue screens out of nowhere imagine the sinking feeling when you possess the world's most powerful GPU and your computer is about as stable as a 102 year old on a zipline heck 
Even intense video editing or rendering sessions would trigger the classic PC B-Sod as blue screen of death. So how did I fix it? So at first I tried reapplying the thermal paste. This is the cheapest option to try if you find your systems blue screening. It simply requires you to remove the cooling solution from the CPU. In my case, a fan cooler, clean the CPU and the cooler, and then simply reapply some thermal freshness. Just remember, make sure that your system is warm before removing the cooling system as it can otherwise rip out the CPU with it at the same time while the locking mechanism is still down on the pins which could result in damage to your CPU and these things are not something you just go down to your local shop to repair or best case scenario you'll have to end up pushing the pins back into place as was the case for me because they were kind of burnt out of shape with the thingy so they'll be bent and you can just kind of push them into place you don't want to have to go through that make sure it's warm first so that it slides off nice and easy you also need to watch out for putting too much thermal paste because putting too much is almost as bad as putting none at all. It needs to flow nice and easy between the CPU and the cooling device. And there are loads and loads of YouTube videos on this kind of thing. So knock yourself out. This isn't it. After doing this, while it did drop the temperature down a little bit, it seemed like with the addition of the Goliath that is the 4090, my CPU just wasn't having it anymore. The next thing I did was decide to change the cooling system itself. Now obviously I did a few other things prior to this, but we're just focusing on the hardware side of things. I already identified that it wasn't a software thing, we're in safe mode and that kind of thing. So without making this video heavily technical, because it's not really meant to be that, it's kind of more like a hybrid story entertainment type of thing. Maybe, I, I don't know, I'm trying. You essentially have two options, a fan cooling solution and a liquid cooling solution. Actually, there's also a hybrid to use hybrid word again. The systems that have both fan and liquid. So yeah. Let me know if there's more. Now the simplest way to pull it without going technical again is the bigger the fan and the faster the speed, the better the cooling. You also have to take into account though that also can be more noise. So if you don't want to be having your system sound like a NASA center or something, keep that in mind and check those decibels. Oh, it also has to fit. So form factor as well. Make sure that your room can handle whatever heat is pushing out, if it's pushing it out. So I previously had the Deepcool AS500 Plus a single fan based system that served me well for a while but I decided to swap this with my first ever liquid cooling system I never thought a cooling system come in such a massive box this is what I got it's the Master Liquid 360L Core ARGB by Cooler Master I like Cooler Master stuff so I recommend these guys Amazon links in the usual places thank you in advance so this system obviously has three fans at 120 mm and it also comes with fancy ARGB. You know us gamers with our RGB, everything has to be RGB, RGB, everything. We even have boxes that are RGB and then knickers that are RGB because that's just how gamers do. It's that stereotype, right? Stereotype gamer lights. Everything has to come in RGB. No exception with your fans. So this solved my problem and it even survived through all of the ridiculous, hideous, high humidity, unique UK heatwave weather that we get. Got in the last few weeks as well. Horrible. Yeah, so it definitely works. So tell me something. Do you think my system is going to be able to handle Cyberpunk's new update? More importantly, is your system ready for Cyberpunk 2077's number two update? What CPUs and GPUs are you guys running right now? Have you recently upgraded? Are you going to upgrade? Has your face ever been melted? Share all these wonders with us below and check out all the CP 2077 stuff that we have on the screen for you chumbers. I'm out of here.